Uh, thank you, Representative. Uh, we have questions from the committee. Uh, before I recognize uh, Representative Garner, I have one question. Can you, it, I'm not familiar with the contractor's licensing board. What is the, what's the number of, on that board and what's the makeup of that uh, board? Uh, well, I see their executive director is here and he may be able to tell you exactly who uh, who are on there. I, I, I was just not sure if they had consumer representatives on there or not, so that's why I didn't. And, but he'd be the person to, to answer that question. If we, if that's okay, can I have, have yes. him answer that? Okay. If you sit, take the seat and state your name and who you're with for the record, please. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Greg Crow. I'm the uh, administrator of the Arkansas Contractors Licensing Board. And your, to answer your direct question, there are seven members on the board, five of which are contractors, two of which are consumers, one of which of the consumers is represents the elderly. Okay. Uh, how often do y'all meet? Do y'all a monthly committee? Uh, generally, generally twice a month. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, Representative Garner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes, Representative Nichols, in your bill, um, you're, you're saying that a contractor would um, be able to verify that he did not know the status of the worker that is hired actually by a subcontractor if he uses the e-verify system. Uh, you're, you're talking about, I'm, I'm, I understand that you're talking about two separate legal entities, a contractor and a subcontractor that he uh, agrees to do work on his site. Does a contractor have the right to use uh, the E-Verify system of anybody? I mean, can, can a contractor say, I want to run the E-Verify system on in employees of another company? I think what the, con the general contractor and home builder can do is tell that subcontractor who will be working for the general contractor, that general contractor or home builder can tell their subs, you show me that you have run the E-Verify. It's not that the general is running an E-Verify on uh, uh, another company's employees, it's just that that sub has to uh, tell the, the home builder or the general contractor that E-Verify was run. Yes, sir. Well, on line 12 of your bill, it says the, the contractor shall be found to not, well, I'm starting with uh, part two, uh, uh, line 10 on the second page, contractor shall not be found to have knowingly employed workers without legal authorization to work in the United States if the contractor uses the federal e-verify system to verify the legal status of all persons offered employment. But those persons offered employment actually work for a, another legal entity, the subcontractor. So I, I'm going to ask again, does, as, a, as an entity to contractor, do I have the legal right to run an e-verify system on anybody I want who works for somebody else who is actually in the employee of somebody else. Can I do that? I don't think that's the intent of this legislation. I think what I'm saying oh, is that so the contractor has to make sure that another contractor, a sub, a, a subcontractor is a contractor. Well, you, uh, you offer e this. You offer this as as proof that the contractor won't be found to have knowingly employed, that, that this is a criteria for not knowing, and I'm quoting your bill, if the contractor uses the federal e-verify system to verify the legal status of these people. I'm, I mean, I'm quoting from your bill, and I, I'm, that seems to be in plain English to me, that you're asking contractors to use the e-verify system to run the status of uh, people who work for a subcontractor, which is another legal...